Watching out for you. If you can't fix stuff on your own, who do you take it to? A growing list of appliances, tech items, and even vehicles can't be fixed because the repair shops say they don't have the right tools or information. News 5's Patrick Nelson shows us how it's costing consumers. Consumer experts believe a family here in Southern Colorado could save about $330 a year by repairing instead of replacing electronics and appliances. Those repairs are also helpful in supporting small businesses here in the state. But repairs are not always possible because those repair experts often don't have access to what's needed to fix items from tech to appliances to vehicles and farming equipment, especially the newest items. That's why right to repair reform is gaining popularity, calling for five things from manufacturers that make anything with a microchip in it. Repair experts need the parts, tools, and manuals to repair, plus the ability to update any firmware in the device and diagnostic software tools. But we're seeing as more and more of our stuff is made to be more digital, that many of the companies that make that stuff are making it in such a way that only they can fix it. And that really is, you know, kind of we feel core in the market and it's harmful for consumers and different businesses and the planet. The reason this is an environmental issue as well as the electronic waste when we throw out devices that can't be fixed. Koperg says it's the fastest growing waste stream in the world and Colorado households generate 196,000 tons of electronic waste per year. Our vehicles are becoming more and more technology dependent too. And at AutoSmith in Colorado Springs, mechanics say not having access to all the information can create some challenges for making a fix. We definitely run into it. It's a struggle. Uh, certain brands um, in particular, you will not have as much information released on those, especially early on within the first, you know, maybe three, four years of ownership. Um, and that it makes it tougher because there's nowhere to get the information because it has not been published, has not been released. There is a growing coalition of repair experts who run small businesses here in Colorado who are now urging lawmakers to debate right to repair policies. Colorado consumer experts tell me lawmakers here in the state were prepared to discuss this issue, then the pandemic hit. If you would like to see lawmakers take up this issue, you can contact your congressional or state representatives. If you need to learn a little bit more about right to repair before contacting those lawmakers, you can find all that information on our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Patrick Nelson, News 5.